In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is risen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I pray that this electronic message finds you and your families well and enjoying the blessings of this day. I want to take this opportunity to offer a brief reflection on the stewardship of time and talents. And I offer this reflection because since this coronavirus pandemic journey has begun, some people have asked the question, Father, how can I offer my time and talents to the church when the church is now closed? We have parishioners, my brothers and sisters in Christ, who have known of or seen a need and have offered their time and talents to fulfill or work on that need. And we are so very, very blessed through their, by their efforts, by the excellent work that you and everybody else in the community is doing. And while acknowledging that, I want to invite all of us to think about something that's very important and very special as well. And that is reaching out to one another. We are more isolated now because of this coronavirus pandemic journey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, than we ever have been. We no longer have the opportunity for fellowship after liturgies on Sundays because the churches are closed. And I suspect this will be the case at least through May, if not through part, if not most of June. We can no longer shake hands with one another. If someone is in physical or emotional or spiritual pain, we can't hold their hand or give them that reassuring hug that says, you know everything is going to be okay. We are socially isolated and very disconnected. And for now, at least, this social distancing is so very important because this coronavirus is so unpredictable and so deadly to many. We want to keep everyone safe and healthy. But because we are so socially isolated at this time, one aspect of time and talents that you can offer is simply to pick up the phone and call a parishioner in need. Pick up the phone, my brothers in Christ, to call a parishioner to let them know that they're being thought of, that they're being loved, that they're being cared for and prayed for. To spend 20 minutes on the phone with someone in need of fellowship because this isolation is bringing with it so much loneliness. This is a powerful place for you and I, when we pick up that phone and we call the other. Because remember, my brothers and sisters in Christ, when we do that, we are serving Christ himself. For our Lord says in Scripture, if you do it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you do it unto me. So when we pick up the phone and call someone in need to spend a little time on the phone with them, we are serving not only the need of the other, but we are serving the icon of Christ in the other, and thereby serving our Lord himself. And for each and every one of us, there are so many things that we can do to stay socially connected. One of the things my family has done at the invitation of my brother-in-law he has put together a Zoom platform for my family and I to spend an hour together each week on Sunday afternoon. My family in Dallas and in Houston, and my son Constantine lives, lives in Austin, as most of you know, and we are here in Seattle. But every Sunday we're, on, we're together. 
We may not be physically together, but we're together on Zoom, and we see each other's faces, and we hear each other's voices. And we ask, how are you? How are you doing? Is everything okay? This is something that we can do as a community as well. If we can identify a few people in the community to start Zoom fellowship groups, if you will, I think these Zoom fellowship groups will help us stay connected, it will help us reach out to the other. Beginning next Monday, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we will begin in our parish here a support group for those parishioners who have been negatively affected by this coronavirus pandemic journey, spiritually or emotionally. If there are any worries or concerns, there will be a venue now through this new ministry, which will meet beginning on Monday evenings, beginning at 7 p.m., for us to share fellowship and to support one another in prayer. And if you are interested in participating in this ministry, please send me your email address, and I will send you the Zoom link that you may participate. Most importantly, my brothers and sisters in Christ, reach out to the other by phone, especially our elderly who may not have computers. Reach out to them to remind them that they're being thought of, prayed for, that they're loved, that they're remembered. Reach out to them to give them support because in reaching out to them, we are ministering to Christ himself. And in that reaching out, I truly believe in the depths of our hearts, we will experience the joy of the resurrected Christ as we serve him and to his glory for now and until eternity. Amen. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. May God be with all of you.